We're going to work on some dribbling. We're going to start right here with a zigzag dribble. Okay, coach, if you'll stand right there at half court. Uh, coach Henson, maybe, right there at half court. Okay, so we're going to start here. Now, you only have eight kids, so you can usually do this in one line. So we're just going to start right here next to the cone. You're going to come up to this cone right here. Now, what you can do with your kids, depending on the age level, is you can rotate through these. So right here, the cones are the defenders. Just have them stop and cross over and change hands. Here, cross over and change hands. Here, cross over and change hands. When they get over here where Coach Canfield is, keep the ball away from the cone and just snake through it. You only have a half court, so this is only set up for a half court. When you get to half court, go right towards Coach Henson. Coach Henson is the defense, okay? So you're going to be dribbling right up to the defense, and then what we want you to do is stop, back up, and cross over and go around it, okay? So that they don't just run through the defense or dribble up into two or three people. So you want to pretend that this guy's a monster, two people, whatever you want, okay? You know, however you want to present it to the kids. Don't let this guy get too close to you, okay? Ready? Go. All right, next guy, go. Next guy, go. So, and back up, cross over. Good. Back up, cross over. Good. Back up, cross over. And here's one of the things that you need to be uh, aware of before practice is what size court do you have? And then when you get to dribbling, make up a little dribble course for them. And then keep the same course so you don't have to reteach it every time. But incorporate some different things like just simply going around one player versus changing directions left and right. So now, not to make it any more difficult on you, but I know some of you, your kids are going to struggle with just changing directions. But then there's other kids who are going to know that for sure. So here's some things you can add to it. You have a half court like this. Do the same thing there, but then come down in here, cross over, go around this other thing right here, and add a shot to it. Okay? But before you do that, we're going to give you one of these to help you see a little bit better. Okay? These are called dribble glasses to keep you from looking down. Okay, so we're going to give you one of those, all right, and she's going to pass them out down the line and then we'll share them so you all kind of get the taste of it, but they're pretty cheap to buy, you know, um, ready? Okay, so if you want to make this a little bit harder or a little bit easier, for the girls, you want to come up to the cone and you want the girls probably to get this arm out and protect it and then turn and change directions, okay? For the guys a little bit older, we would just prefer that you go up and turn and spin, okay, and do that. Rather than putting the arm out, we'd like for the, for the guys to just go ahead and turn and spin. But the girls, takes them a little bit longer at an earlier age, so they put that arm out there to protect the ball and then turn. All right, go. Turn, turn, turn your body, turn your body. There you go. Good. Turn. Good. Good. Turn. Good. Turn. Yes. Yeah. And we'll have them come in and shoot a shot. Look at y'all. All look good. Get them on video right there. Go around. Go score. You can also do your layups right there again. All right. Just need to share. You need to share your glasses down there. Go score. Yep. Go around that. Cross over here. Go score. Yeah, see, that's what you want to do to them right there. You want to challenge them. There you go. Good. Now, I'm not sure how I should take this, but every one, every one of those kids up there are pointing and laughing. So... 
I'm not sure how we want to do that. Uh, but at the same time, at the same time, you're experiencing some of the things they're going to experience. Now right here, as you progress, not necessarily change up the course, but make the different obstacles a little bit harder for them as they go through this. And I understand, kindergarten, first grade, you're not going to be able to do all of this. You're going to have to just settle in on some. A lot of yours is just going to be organization, okay? But when you get to a, you know, a particular point here, just make it a little bit more challenging for some of the older kids, okay? Uh, but the routine is what they appreciate at that early age. 